Hi, this is Gary with MacMost.com. Let me show you how to use the new video conferencing features in macOS Sonoma both with FaceTime and with Zoom. MacMost is brought to you thanks to a great group of more than a thousand supporters. Go to MacMost.com slash Patreon. There you could read more about it. Join us and get exclusive content and course discounts. Now there's some great new video conferencing and presentation features in macOS Sonoma. But it can be tricky to find these if you don't know where to look. So I'm going to show you first how to use these in FaceTime. So let's start a FaceTime conversation with somebody else. I've got a demo account here that I'm going to connect to another Mac running another demo account. So let's place the FaceTime call. So, and here we go. As a stand-in for the other person, I've got this Apple. Now I've got normal FaceTime things going on here. I've got my little preview window here with all the normal controls. But what's new is that you can now control a lot of things that have to do with the camera and presenting through the menu bar. See this little icon that appears here at the top? This only shows up when you're actually on a call. So if I click on it, it will show me all the different things that are using either the camera or the microphone and I can choose which one I want to control. I've got screen recording going on for this tutorial so you see a few things up here. But under FaceTime I could see the call that I'm on and various controls here. Like for instance I can control the microphone. I can switch which microphone I want to use or mute or allow the microphone. Same thing with the camera here. And I have controls here for the camera. So for instance if your camera supports center stage then you could turn that on or off. If your camera supports portrait mode or studio lighting you can turn that on and off. You even have some controls here like for studio light since my uh, studio display does actually support it. You can see how I can adjust the brightness of the background there. And then you've got something new, reactions. You go to that then you could see all the different reactions that you could trigger. Now the preview will be here. This is an effect on me not on the other person. So if I click on this one you could see the little hearts. Notice how it's even going to show it to me here on the preview area inside of FaceTime. So I've got that. I've got say a thumbs up and others. You could also trigger these using gestures. So for instance the heart could be done with a gesture like this and you can see that triggers it. A thumbs up like that. And you could do thumbs down similar way. Balloons you can do a peace sign like that. For the storm clouds you can do double thumbs down like that. If you do double thumbs up then you get the fireworks. If you do this you get lasers. And if you do double peace sign then you get confetti. So reactions are fun but mostly cosmetic. Let's take a look at something really useful. You can do screen sharing using this button right here. So in this case you can choose to share a window, the whole app which would include multiple windows if the app has them or your entire screen. So for instance if I were to share the entire screen and choose this screen then you could see a preview of what I'm currently sharing here. And here's what it looks like for the other person. So what they would see on their end is a window that shows what's being shared and it's separate from the FaceTime window. So they've got two windows now that they could arrange as they want. One showing what I'm sharing and one showing the normal FaceTime stuff. However, I could switch to a presenter overlay. So there are two, small and large. This is what the small one looks like. If I look at it here in the preview or right here you can see it puts me at the bottom left hand corner in a little circle there with my head kind of popping up and some space above it. So they will now not see me in their FaceTime window anymore. But they will see me in the presentation window. So the same thing with large. But large will actually put me in front with the full view and put the screen behind me. So this is what the other person sees in their presentation window. So they could make this of course full screen if they wanted to by clicking on the green button and that's a nice way for them to view it. And they still have access to their preview right there in their own FaceTime window. So they have two windows still. And if I turn it off here I get this. Now let's stop sharing the screen and instead let's try sharing again 
but I'll choose just a window. But before I do that let's bring up a window to share. So I've got Keynote here and I've got it set to play in a window not in full screen. So I'll play the slideshow. So now I've got my Keynote presentation here in this window. I can make it a little smaller. Maybe I'm doing other things on my screen as I present here in this window. If I decide to share a window and just share this window now you can see this is what I'm currently sharing with the other person. This is what they see. They still see me in the FaceTime window and they have another window with the window I'm sharing. Now what if I change it to Small Presenter Overlay. It puts me on top of that window there. I see the preview. They see a blank area in the FaceTime window but they can still use it for their own preview and controls. But they see me here inside of the thing I'm sharing. If I switch to Large then they see this which is kind of nice. It's like a whiteboard. It's like I can point to you know things on there like this uh, to indicate stuff. So if I bring up another window, a calendar window here and I add this window, I add the calendar window by clicking on it. Now I've got both of these windows here and what they're going to see is a mixture of the two windows. So I can move them around. They won't see whatever I don't see. So if something goes below the bottom of the screen then it goes below the bottom of the sharing area. But otherwise they will see these two windows as I see them but won't see any other windows I've got. They'll just see a blank space behind things. Now to stop sharing a window notice each window has got this little button up here and I could close the window. I can remove the window from the sharing. Let's do that and I can do that for both of these. And another nice feature is you don't need to bring this up and use this and then click Window and all that to share a window. If you want to share a window you can use the green button. As long as you're in FaceTime you can actually share the window or the entire app this way. So it jumps right into sharing. Now I'm sharing this. You can see what the other person is seeing right here. I can do that using those green buttons and I could stop sharing it as well. Now how does this all work with Zoom? started a Zoom meeting with that same other Mac in the other account and you could see I'm talking here and there's the Apple as the other person. Now I'll take this out of the normal full screen Zoom mode here and let's say I want to share the screen. So I would do that starting here in Zoom. I click Share Screen and I could pick the window that I want or the desktop. Now Currently this only really works with sharing a desktop. Sharing a window it's kind of flaky. So I'm going to pick this desktop here and share it. So now the other person sees my desktop. Now once I've got this going I can use those same overlays that I was using in FaceTime. So I'm going to click here in the menu bar. Make sure Zoom is chosen here at the top and it shows what I'm currently sharing. And I can do the Small Presenter Overlay and there I am. I can see a preview down here and over here. And this is what the other person sees. They see me presenting my screen here just like normal except I've got the nice presenter overlay which is really cool that it works in Zoom as well as FaceTime. And it should work in other video conferencing apps like this as well. I can switch over here to Large Overlay and you can see it works the same here. So uh, I could use either one of these pretty nicely. Now let's turn Presenter Overlay off. Now let's go and bring the Zoom controls in here and turn off screen sharing. Now instead of sharing the entire screen I've got this Keynote window and I just want to share that. So let's try it. I'm going to share screen and I'm going to say I just want to share this window here. I'll share it and then it shows what I'm sharing here. Now let's see what the other person sees. They see that entire window filling everything and that's great. But what if I try to use a presenter overlay? Well, I'm going to try to use the small one and you can see it's going to stick me relative to the entire screen not the window. So it doesn't really work well. If I do Large then it kind of works. Yeah this is something that may actually improve over time. Like we may actually see Zoom be able to do everything that FaceTime does perfectly or it's something that could just remain like this. It's really hard to say but it is possible at least to share a window and kind of put yourself in it like that if you really want. So there's a lot of different options here. If you present either with FaceTime or Zoom or something else professionally then what I would do is I would experiment first. If you don't have a second computer around 
uh, maybe find a friend that's willing to work with you. But having a second computer, some older computer that you can just create a separate account on and FaceTime to or use it as a second person on a Zoom conference and see what the other person sees when you try all of this. It really helps to be able to perfect your technique before you need to do a real presentation. Otherwise, if you just need to use this in a more casual setting, you can always experiment live while conferencing with your friends. Hope you found this useful. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, click the thumbs up button below to let me know. I publish new tutorials each weekday. Hit the subscribe button so you don't miss out.